Ah, ah, ah. Hello, 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 hello. Anyone there? Anyone? Let us see. Let's see ya. Anyone there? I just want to do a sound check before I start. Yes, can you hear me? Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. <laughs> uh, this is my, uh, well, actually, I'll make sure, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, hi, Elisa. Linda, Marisol, David, can you hear me? Can you just type in yes? Yeah? Yeah, hi, Linda. Kelly, can you hear me? Just say yes. Uh, I'm getting a thumbs up, so I assume that's a yes. Yes, thank you, Linda. Thank you, that's great. Uh, the reason why I was uh, asking is because, um, well, I haven't done a Facebook Live for several weeks, and uh, partly that was due to the fact that I, I, I had a, took a vacation. And I, it's funny, I, I went to a place called Da Nang in uh, Vietnam, and uh, it's uh, by, the, by the sea there. Uh, and uh, it's 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 quite good, and the uh, I had the best intentions to run a Facebook Live whilst I was away, but I don't know. I just got into the kind of holiday mode, and and I just ah, uh, I'm just going to chill, and that's exactly what I did for uh, about uh, best part of ten days. So it was good. I probably needed it, and uh, it's easy to get burnt out when you're just doing the same old thing day after day after day. So yeah. So I didn't do a Facebook Live, and then, then when I, I came back, uh, came back home, I, I um, uh, what happened there? Oh, well, I was in catch-up mode, right? So that week, I wasn't able to do one. And then when I was ready to do Facebook Lives last week, I had this freaking uh, tech problem. My cam wouldn't work, my camera wouldn't work. I tried every, everything, every which way to uh, get it working for the Facebook Lives, and it just, it didn't happen. It wasn't until last Friday that I finally got the problem solved. And so here I am today, Monday night, if you're in uh, North America or uh, Tuesday for probably most of the rest of us. So here I am, the first Facebook Live in uh, three weeks. It's been a bit of a, a, a tortuous uh, journey uh, over that time. All right, so yeah, I've got a, I've got a good little topic, just a, a kind of a happy topic. Uh, hi, Kyle, how are you? Uh, yeah, David, Connie, great to see you, Connie. Joe, Joseph, yes, Joseph. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've got a, a little fun kind of topic. Well, I'll, the next one I'll run will be probably a bit more serious, a little bit more uh, of a nuts and bolts topic. But this one is, is just called how to put a smile on your face and a spring in your step. It's ideal for, for anybody that's listening, but particularly if you've got a kind of a, a home business thing happening and you're wanting to build it. Um, I was originally going to call this topic how to overcome, oh no, how to banish the blues in your business, how to banish the blues. But I thought, oh, that's a bit, uh, maybe that sounds a bit negative, so I thought I'd, I'd uh, change the topic, but more or less the same content because, look, uh, it. We do have uh, situations happen, most of us quite often, where you know, we'll have a setback. Um, we'll have some bad news. Uh, the, the person we thought we were going to sign up as a new client or a new member, they, they disappear on us. And uh, they, they don't join or they don't pay you any money. And you know, it's easy to become a bit despondent when we have these setbacks. So uh, we need to have a, a kind of a strategy that will help to break through, help to break through and overcome those setbacks so we can quickly bounce back and move forward again. And uh, sometimes we can have a big setback and, and that can put us off track for some time, for some people, days, weeks, even months, or even put them out of the business. Uh, it, it affects them so badly. Um, so I remember listening to a guy, actually, just before I start, before I get into the topic itself, uh, my name is Kim Willis, as you know. I've been online marketing since 2006. 
and uh, for the for up until about 2015, or uh, sorry, up until 2013, um, I was strictly home base in my home country, Australia. And um, you know, I had some great years. I had some not so great years. You know, ups and downs. It's the, the life of a, an entrepreneur, I guess. And then um, in 2013, I after I lost my wife and my mum uh, and my kids who were virtually grown up at that stage, they told me that they were going to be doing some travel to Asia. I thought I'm not going to be left behind. So I made the decision to become a digital nomad. And so here I am five years later, I'm still in Asia right now. I'm in Cambodia, but uh, very soon I'm going to be moving to Vietnam to be with my son who is still there. He's still in uh, Vietnam and uh, we're very close and uh, you know, uh, emotionally and all the rest of it. So physically we're going to be closer as well. So, yeah, so living uh, kind of what you might call the laptop lifestyle. So that's it. Now, back to the topic. Back to the topic. Before I do, let me give some more acknowledgements here. G'day, Fred. Haven't spoken to you for a while. Diane. Hi, Diane. Steve. Yeah, hi, Steve. Mark, new friend of mine. That's great to see you, Mark. Hope uh, I give you something of value. You're doing pretty good yourself by the sounds of it anyway. Um, yeah, so bouncing back from setbacks so that we, we can uh, quickly... Re recover, recuperate, and get that winning smile back on our face, a spring in our step, we're optimistic again. That's where we need to be. Now, I remember uh, listening to a guy, his name's Larry Thompson, who was a great mentor of mine. Oh, gee, would have been, um, yeah, 20 plus years ago, but I'll never forget him, Larry Thompson. And um, Larry, Larry uh, talked, talked about lots of different things. He talked about how to build your story, how to package your story and, and uh, you, know, build, um, you know, share the truth in a powerful way, how to optimize the truth of your journey, et cetera, all sorts of things like that, fantastic trainer. Um, but he also, he, also, he also talked about setbacks and how to overcome them. And what, what he said was that he said the difference between uh, a, you know, a successful person and someone who's not successful quite often is to do with their ability to handle setbacks. He said, the, sometimes he was a bit crude, he'd say, the loser, you know, losers, this is what they'll do. They'll have a setback, and to me, it's not a huge setback, but to them, they magnify it out of all proportions, it's a huge setback, and, and um, they have a pity party for the next three weeks. He said, when I have a setback, okay, it might knock me, it'll knock me, but not for three weeks, not for six weeks, maybe three hours and sometimes 30 minutes, and then I'm back in the game again. And I thought that was a very, that's a great point that he made, and he, by the way, he made it over and over again over a period of many months. Uh, I used to come and listen to this guy every time he came to town. And um, yeah, I think he made a really good point that we all have setbacks, and they do affect us in one way or another, but the key is to learn how to bounce back and bounce back quickly, really fast, so you can get back on the bike and start pedaling again like crazy. Okay, so, so that's, that's the first point. Now, what I did when I first started in 2006, this little home business thing, I was, uh, it was a kind of a network marketing uh, product, uh, program. It was big ticket, but it had a kind of, uh, yeah, kind of a recruitment element to it. And, you know, I made, I made the decision that when I did have some setbacks during, particularly during the early experiences, that I would adopt uh, a set of strategies that would help me overcome those setbacks so that I could quickly get back onto a positive frame, a positive uh, way of thinking once again. And I knew that if I didn't do that, I'd probably be out of the business because I was new. I was brand new. I'd never done any online work before. I had no idea how to you know, generate leads, how to convert them, do anything like that. And, and I knew that there was probably going to be a few rough patches ahead. You know, it wasn't going to be, wasn't going to be plain sailing. You know, I had realistic expectations. That, actually, that's another, I, I, that's another great uh, topic. Uh, we could run that about expectations. But I didn't have, I didn't have uh, huge expectations. I was, I was confident, but I knew that there would be some struggles along the way. And sure enough, by, uh, when was it, about three weeks, I woke up, 
uh, I think it was on the Monday morning, and I thought, I can't do this. I've been going for three weeks. I'd spent money on advertising. I'd, I'd call people. I used offline technique. Once the leads were generated online, but the, you know, the con connection was done offline on the telephone. And I think I've spoken to all these leads and not one person has purchased after three weeks. And I was going, I was doing pretty solid work, believe me. Even though it was part time, I was still working hard. I was like, I was phoning leads uh, two, three, four hours every night, every night. And um, I woke up Monday morning, three weeks later, nothing to show for it, nothing. And I thought, I started to have a pity party, started to suck my thumb. Mm. <laughs> and I, uh, I just thought, I can't do this. And so what happened was that I, I started to think about it a bit and I thought about quitting and I thought about phoning my mentor, the lady that introduced me and saying, look, Tanya, I think I'm done. I think I've done it. I've given it three weeks. And in fact, although I didn't phone her, I sent her a message. I sent her a message and I said, look, I think I'm just about done with this thing. I've been going for three weeks. I've been trying to do this for three weeks. I've been working day and night trying to make this business work. I've phoned lots and lots of people and not one customer, not one customer. And after three weeks, I would have thought I'd get a little bit more than that, you know, better, a better response than that. And she just came back to me and she said, three weeks? You, you do, you're giving it three weeks and then you're going to quit on me? That's all she did. That's what she did. And I thought, hmm, okay, maybe she's right. All right, I'll go back to the plan. And here was the plan. I pulled out one of the training videos that I had watched uh, a few weeks ago that I thought was good and I watched it again. I watched it again. Um, I, list, I read a little bit of a book that I was reading uh, and I highlighted it and it was a, like a motivational self-improvement type book. I went back to that book and I wrote some notes, some clarifying notes, some, some expansionary notes and so on. I, did, I started to do things like that. Um, there was a live training coming uh, that was going to be run that night. So I made sure I plug into that live training. And then the next day, on the, on the Tuesday, I made a point of phoning my, my mentor, okay, phoning Tanya. And we had a good powwow there. And I'll tell you, by the end of it, I was back in the saddle again. So the setback, the remorse, the downside, the, the feeling of you know, despondency just evaporated within 24 hours. In fact, it was less than that because by the time I went to bed on Monday night, I'd more or less decided I was going to recommit. And then having that, uh, you know, that phone call with Tanya the next day, that made, that confirmed it, right? And then the incredible thing is, and this is what we say sometimes, you just, sometimes you don't know how close you are. You just don't know. But the incredible thing is just a few days later, uh, one of the people that I'd spoken to a week or so before came on board and joined. And in the dying days of that first month, the remainder of that week, uh, there was over $9,000 of income uh, deposited into my bank account before the, it was October, so it was, uh, that's 31, so it was just before the 31st of October. Now, what would have happened if I had quit, if I succumbed to my, uh, worst instincts, right? What would have happened? I would have walked away on the Monday and the person, that first person who was going to join and did join a few days later, he would have learnt that I walked away. He would have lost confidence in the whole project and he wouldn't have joined, right? So, boy, what a pivotal moment. And here I am in 2018, still loving what I'm doing, I'm um, still on a great journey. I'm going through a tremendous rebirth at the moment, uh, you know, learning new stuff. Um, yeah, fantastic to, to think that all these years later, 12, uh, well, 12 years later, I'm still here. I'm traveling. I've had some fantastic experiences. I met some great people and, you know, I sold millions of dollars worth of products online. But if I'd quit, if I'd quit on that Monday night, that story, would never have been written. So, I don't know. I hope it helps. If that's a if that's a, uh, a helpful message for you, take it on board. So, what should you do? Well, I would say talk to people. Start talking to people. If you're feeling a bit despondent, even if you don't want to talk to leads, if you're in that type of business, if you just feel you just cannot do it, 
talk to somebody else, talk to a mentor, talk to somebody that's going to uplift you. You need some positive input, right? Um, watch a, a training video, anything that stimulates you, gets you excited. Uh, watch a personal development video or something like that. Go and watch some Tony Robbins, anything at all. You've got to crowd out the negative and replace it with the positive. Absolutely. Now, it's easy to say, sometimes it's hard to do because when we get into a negative funk, um, you know, we, we try and push all that good stuff away from us, don't we? But somehow you just got to find a way to break through and let some of that good stuff come into your brain again. And uh, chances are within 24 hours, you'll be back on, back on board again. You'll be, you'll be buzzing, you know, you'll be, you'll be buzzing again. But look, do not allow it to sort of fester for weeks and weeks and weeks. You can't do that. You can't do that because if you do, um, the chances of you exiting the business and becoming another statistic, another failure are quite high. And so you've got to nip it in the bud. When you have a setback, you want to get that spring in your step. Another good thing, uh, other than talking to people, reading a little book, not, not reading it for hours, but just, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just and highlight it, write some notes and stuff like that. Learn something new. So if you learn something new, that's always exciting. For me, I find it very exciting. Um, and talk to somebody. And something else you can do is something physical. Uh, maybe jump up and down on the spot for 20 minutes, listen to some, some, uh, some rock music or something like that, or go for a walk, go for a long walk, a power walk, okay? Not just a stroll, a power walk. There's something that happens. There is a connection between physical activities and, you know, what goes on up here. <laughs> so that's, that's my thought for today on this wonderful Monday night, Tuesday night, whatever. Yeah, hi, Melanie, Adam, hi there. Um, yeah, so how do, you, how do you handle setbacks? How do you get back into a positive way of thinking? How do you do it? You want to type in now? I'm happy to be great to uh, get some feedback from you guys. Maybe you've got another way of doing it, but I'm just sharing with you the methods that I've used, and basically those methods saved me from quitting this industry way back in 2006. Where? Yeah. And uh, once I started to get those successes, by the way, a few days later when they started to uh, roll in, well, um, I just said to myself and also said to my, my wife, who was still, still alive at that point, I said, uh, this is it. I'm going to be an online marketer for the rest of my life. As long as I'm healthy, as long as I'm fit, this is what I'm going to do. And it won't matter how much money I've made, because I like doing it so much, uh, I'm just going to keep doing it no matter what. And that's it. And sure, I've had some setbacks since then. I have. Uh, everybody has setbacks. But there was never, it was only in that very early period there, in that first month, when I thought of quitting. Since then, there's been no thoughts at all, even when I've had a bad month or something like that. Okay. Okay, Fred, I read Joe Carbo's uh, book back in the mid 80s. Yeah, I, yeah, Joe Carbo, he's a bit of a, bit of a legend, isn't he? That's right. Uh, the, lazy way, the Lazy Man's Way to Riches, if I recall rightly. Is that right? Is that right, uh, Fred? The lazy, way, the lazy Man's Way to Riches. It's all about mail order, but good mind control, positive thinking stuff that I use daily since. Yeah, I remember, I remember seeing ads for that book, Joe Carbo. He's a bit of a legend. Connie. Look at your past, yeah, that's a good one. Look at your past successes. If you don't have any, look at other success until you get some results. Uh, yeah, thanks, Fred. Yeah, that, that's the name of the book. I, actually, I think I bought that book. I don't have it still. I think I might have given it to someone. Um, yeah, absolutely, Connie, that's right. Look at your past successes. And even if you're brand new to you know, your current industry, um, you probably had some successes in other areas of your life. You look at those successes, what got you those successes? What got you to that point where you uh, had that result, right? It, it, it may not be business. It, it, it could be, I don't know, it could be sports. It could be something else. It could be something more artistic. I, I, I don't know. But if you can look at uh, your successes, dig deep, draw some of those successes out from your past, that will often put a smile on your face and give you um, some conviction that you can do this, you can make it happen. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, Fred, you still got that book. Yeah. 
yeah. Um, I, I think I've got it in storage back in Australia. Actually, I, I've got. I have a. I had a huge library of books, and uh, so I think I've got them. And when I go back, I'm going to pull some of these great books out of the, um, you know, out of storage there. So that's it. Hi, Flory. Haven't seen you for a while, Flory KH. KH is not. That's just an abbreviation. Um, yeah. So uh, all right. Any other any other ideas? How do you how do you bounce back? How do you bounce back from adversity? How do you overcome the blues? How do you put the smile on your face and the spring in your step once again? Any other thoughts there before I close? How are we going for time? Yep, time's about up. All right, folks, I hope you found that uh, helpful. By the way, my group, Tri Builder Community, you're welcome to join it if you haven't been involved with it, if you haven't joined it already. Uh, that group has gone through a couple of, I started that group last year actually. And it's a free group. You don't. There's no. It's not a paid uh, membership group. But uh, I joined. I started that group last year, and uh, it's gone through a couple of changes, and it's about to go through another major change. And this is another uh, another point for another lesson, perhaps, that you've got to be constantly innovating. You've got to be constantly stepping up, and you can never rest on your laurels because the game is changing. And if you don't change with it, in fact, you want to be ahead of the game if you possibly can. But join that group, uh, you'll see it as it is now, but over the next couple of weeks, you're gonna see something special happen. Okay, so it's called Tri Builder Community. Uh, I can give, you can just type it in if you want, or you can, if you want the link, just uh, say yeah, or send me a PM and I'll give you the link. So you can just click that link. Uh, Tri Builder Community, and uh, we talk about all sorts of stuff like, like um, you know, Tri Building, Audience Building, um, other ideas designed to help home biz marketers build their business. All right, got it back, press reset. What's that mean? Press reset, oh, okay, I think I understand, David. All right, yeah, so try build a community, uh, that's a free group. I started, as I said, I started it last year. It's got about a thousand uh, members in it, a bit, bit more than that. And uh, join join in there and have a bit of fun, learn some stuff, meet some other people. It'd be great. Try builder community. Okay, folks. Well, I think we're just about done for this little live. My first one in three weeks. I'll have another one. I'll do another one. I'll pick another topic. Uh, I'll draw on my reservoir of <laughs> knowledge, and uh, it's quite a big reservoir. So I'll draw on that reservoir and I'll I'll find a, a topic that I think you'll you'll like. And it'll be do it'll be something to do with um, yeah, making sales, lead generation. If you like that kind of stuff, I uh, well, I'm sure you'll like that. And I'll do that in uh, another few days. All right, okay. This is Kim Willis. Bye for now. Bye everybody. See you soon. Bye bye. Talk soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Boom. And.